It is another day, primary seven candidates. We have come back. We have moved a very long period of time. It has been a long time since uh, we are trying to cover uh, the work which we are supposed to cover, but there is work which looks to be related. And you know, when you revise a first term, revise the second term, I'll look at second term's topic. So, why don't we, after looking at some of the previous topic we covered today, let us look at another term which we call excretory system. This is a body system. It's a topic uh, which we need also to look at to see that we can cover it out very fast. But just remember, it's high time to wash our hands as we are fighting COVID-19. Uh, our topic which we are going to look at, uh, this is science. Remember, we are looking at science. Uh, this is primary seven. Science primary seven is what we are trying to look at. Then our topic is excretory system. The topic is excretory system. The topic is excretory system. Uh, here, as we are looking at excretory system, just what I want to tell you, uh, dear our uh, lovely students, that this is one of the body systems which we always look at. And remember, there are very many. We have the excretory system, we have digestive system, and we have uh, respiratory system, circulatory system, but automatic. Today we are looking at excretory system. When you look at only the word a system, a system is a group of body organs performing the same function. A system is a group of body organs performing the same function. Is what we call a, a system. Then we are looking at a, an ex, a, an excretory system. So excretory system. Excretory system, excretory system is a group. Excretory system is a group of body organs, is a group of body organs that remove, that remove waste products waste products that remove waste products in the body cells in the and uh, this is the system is a group of body organs that move waste products in the body cells in the body cells and takes them out of the body and takes them outside the body. So whenever they ask what is the excretory system, you say it's a group of uh, body organs that remove waste products in the body cells and takes them outside the body. What is taken out are the, what we call the waste products. And there are very many waste products which are removed in the body. But in that, we cannot say uh, that we can take this or the other one. There are many. There is urine, there is sweat, there is bile pigments, uh, there is carbon dioxide and water vapor. All those are what we call the examples of the waste products which are removed from the body. Then, from after seeing what we call the excretory system, let us look at the term excretion and we see what excretion means. When somebody talks about excretion, what is that person meaning? So, excretion, you come here and say excretion is the removal. Uh, we come and say excretion is the removal of harmful material is the removal of harmful material is the removal of harmful materials from the body 
uh, is the removal of harmful materials from the body. All we can say is the process by which waste products or harmful materials are removed from the body. You can either say excretion, or we can either say excretion is the process. Excretion is the process by which excretion is the process by which waste waste products or harmful materials waste products is the process by which waste products are removed is the process by which waste products are removed from the body from the body. That is what we call excretion. When you define it that excretion is the removal of waste or harmful materials from the body, you are okay. Or you say excretion is the process by which waste products are removed from the body, you are also right. Now, we are going to look at the excretory organs. We are going to look at the excretory organs. Let us look at those body organs which are excreted from the body, uh, which remove waste products from the body, calling the excretory organs. The excretory organs. They can either tell you to give the examples of the excretory organs in the body. What are the examples? What are we supposed to give? when we are talking about the excretory organ. The first thing we shouldn't uh, forget, uh, we can talk about the excretory organ which you call skin, then we have the kidney, we have skin, then we have the kidney, then from the kidney we have what we call the lungs. The lungs as excretory organs, then from the lungs. We cannot forget also to talk about the liver. So the group of this, when these ones are all put together, they, they make what we call the excretory system. When they are made together, they make what we call the excretory system. This topic, when you follow how it moves, it is going to give you the simplest way forward of taking the care of your body. You will take the care of yourself. You will start knowing how to solve and the day-to-day -day problems and you learn the importance of your body organs. That's what I can say. But as you see, we go slowly by slowly without wasting a lot of time and without rushing, it's going to give us what to say. When I ask you at uh, this time to give me other examples of excretor organ, you will give me those you will write very many answers, but we can out with us the kidney, the lungs and the liver. Let us look at uh, the excretory organ and the excretory uh, product and the waste products. You know, there is the excretory organ. You want to know what does each of these excretory organs remove from our body? We will come, uh, we can have our simple table. We can have our simple table here. Then on this table, which we have, we can draw. I just look at something which is simple here we can draw this one we can draw this table here after drawing this table we are going to divide it into two then we divide our table here into two what why are we doing this we are doing this to see that here we have excretory organs and here we are going to have the waste products. So here we write excretory organs on this side, excretory organs. Then here we write the 
waste body products waste products from the body waste body products so those things which are removed from the body they can be silent and here now let us start uh, with the skin uh, your skin will remove uh, what we call the excess water and salt the skin removes excess water and salt excess water and salt they form what we call a sweat excess water and a sweat they form what we call sweat so sweat is when you look at when is the components of sweat we have excess water and excess salt those are the, the components of sweat then another waste product which are another excretory organ we shall look at the kidney we shall look at the kidney then we look at the waste which are excreted by the kidney you know the kidney removes uh, there is a waste which we call diuric acid uh, there is diuric acid that's a uh, material excreted by the kidney we have urea uh, we have excess water we have excess water and excess salt so these ones they have a name you write acid urea excess water and excess salt they give us what we call urine so all these are found in urine so when you find that this kidney sometimes they ask us the main function of the kidney the main function of the kidney is to filter urine from blood and what makes urine is the right acid urea excess water excess salt so those ones we call it urine then excess water and salt we are they form what we call a sweat uh, another another body organ these are the lungs the lungs are excretory organs but what do the lungs excrete uh, the lungs excrete the gas called carbon dioxide the lungs excrete carbon dioxide and water vapor the lungs excrete carbon dioxide and water vapor so when you look at the lungs they excrete uh, the body waste or the waste products the waste body products like uh, the carbon dioxide and the water vapor we call them the waste products of the body which are excreted by the lungs then we have another excretory uh, products and an excretory organ here the another excretory organ is what we call the liver the liver excretes by pigments the liver excretes by pigments by pigments are the waste are products which are excreted by the liver so simply to give a line about what you by telling you that excretory system excretory system is a group of body organs that remove waste products in the body cells and takes them outside the body then excretion is the removal of harmful uh, materials from the body so look at another definition of the white excretion is the process by which waste products are removed from the body then we look at the excretory organs the excretory organs when you of the human body we have the skin the kidney the lungs and the liver so we have what the excretory organ and the waste body products uh, waste body products so the things which are not needed in your body i have excess water and salt then the kidney has 
uric acid, urea, excess water, and excess salt. So the kidney re removes this one from your body, and that's what we call urine. Then the lungs will remove carbon dioxide and water vapor from your body. This one becomes the waste products. Then the liver will remove by pigments from your body. A question will really come. Give the importance of excretion in our daily life. Excretion maintains homeostasis by keeping the body internal environment stable. Maintains homeo, homeostatic, homeostasis. Importance of excretion. Importance of excretion. Importance of excretion. Uh, here I say excretion. Excretion maintains. Maintains a uh, homeostasis. Homeostasis. By keeping. The internal homeostasis, homeo, it maintains homeostasis by keeping the bodies, by keeping the body's internal environment, by keeping the body's internal environment, by keeping the body's internal environment stable by keeping the body's internal environment stable and free from dangerous substances stable and free from dangerous substances So this is the part of this topic, primary seven, the excretory system, the importance of excretion. Why is it important for the body to get rid of the waste body products? Like excretion maintains homeostasis by keeping the body's internal environment stable and free from dangerous substances. Just to repeat for you as we are winding up, I'll say that excretory system is a group of body organs that remove the waste products from the body and the cell, from the body cells and takes them out of the body. Then you have what we call excretion is the process um, by which waste products are removed from the body or is the removal of harmful substances from the body. They excrete our organs. I've said we have the skin, the kidney, the lungs, and the liver. Still, after the year, we have the excreted organs and the waste body products. We have skin, we have excess water and salt. Then the kidney uh, removes uric acid, urea, excess water, and excess salt. So these ones, they form what we call urine. So the lungs, they excrete or remove carbon dioxide and water vapor. Then the liver will remove the bile pigments. Don't forget that the importance of excretion. Excretion maintains homeostasis by keeping the body's internal environment are stable and free from dangerous substances. As you continue revising your books, this is the work some uh, which we, we have covered or which we covered. So when I come, we start uh, the topics by doing some bit of his or it so that I give you a platform on how to, uh, to go in or through the next the next day uh, pass. I know from here we are going to look at the skin as the excretory organ we look at the parts of the skin the function, the diseases and the disorders. We shall look at it. Let us wait for the next part as I come with the human skin. Uh, the next part I'll come with the human skin. Uh, that shall be the next time.